Thank you. Good to be getting into a, get a little rhythm here. It's nice to get you know, a couple couple starts under your belt. Keep keep things going. Yeah, uh, just being able to get into the routine a little bit uh, has helped me. Uh, just kind of, you know, just stay consistent, and that's the most important thing out there. Nick, you were cruising through four innings there. Uh, anything happen in, in the fifth or the sixth, uh, command or fatigue or anything like that? No, nothing like that. I actually felt really strong out there today. Uh, you know, I was being really aggressive in the strike zone. Uh, Trevino got that curveball with two strikes, just kind of down the line. Uh, you know, that, that hit that inning. And then uh, I don't remember exactly who it was. Oh, Heineman, uh, 0-2, up and away fastball. It was what I wanted to do. Um, you know, and uh, he just put a good swing on it, was looking out over there, and, and uh, he got a hit. And then, uh, you know, I, no, in the sixth, I think uh, I was executing my game plan, and uh, they just started to uh, take advantage of, of some pitches on the outer half of the plate. Yeah, your team puts up uh, four quick and how, how much, how nice is going through with it? Nice early uh, lead. Yeah, it's huge. It allows me to be super aggressive in the strike zone. And, uh, you know, that was kind of my mentality the whole night, you know, especially after we scored, go up and throw up a zero, you know. Uh, I learned back in college, my college coach was huge on throwing up a, a zero after scoring runs, and it's kind of never left me. So every time we, we throw up some runs, uh, I'm, I'm going out there doing everything I can to throw up a zero. You, know, you obviously had had a lot of time in the bigs last year. But how much are these starts reinforcing what you want to do? Uh, I I think a lot. Um, you know, the, some things that I worked on in the off season, some things I wanted to change. Uh, you know, it's it's shown me that it, it can be successful here, and uh, it's shown me that the work's paying paying off. And uh, you know, I'm really encouraged by that. In your mind, are you still a starter? I mean, like I know you pitched out of the bullpen, but you you've been a starter. You know, and, and is that kind of what you want to be? You know, if all things work right, the work you're doing, is that where you want to be in this game? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I think uh, I'm ready to pitch in any role, any anytime I need to pitch in any situation. Uh, and I think that's something I've learned this year uh, and, and through quarantine is uh, how to adjust and how to be able to do different things. And I think that's valuable. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I look at myself as a starter and I, I try to build myself up. Um, as a starter and, and kind of throw, throw as much as I can and, and have that volume. Uh, and I think I could throw a lot of innings. You think that's where you could bring the most valuable value to a team as a starter then? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm open to, to whatever. Are, are, you throwing that, are you throwing that curve more now or is that about what you use to uh, you know, I don't, I don't actually know. Uh, I think it's probably about the same uh, as I threw it before, maybe a little bit more, but uh, I think it's, it's improved for sure. Uh, the consistency of the break uh, is improved, and uh, I think it, it looks a lot better now than it did uh, a while ago. That, that, that could be a pretty big pitch for you, right? Go, go back and forth with that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I think Thing coming off the fastball, uh, the, the speed differential alone is, is is pretty significant.